What's up, brothers? What's up, brothers? Welcome back. Hope everybody is doing well. And I hope you enjoy the video. Now tonight I want to talk about one of the most important issues in dating. And this is advice for the fellas. So any of the ladies out there, you're free to watch the video. You can hang out for a while, but this is advice for the guys. Now the issue that I want to talk about is, like I said, one of the least talked about issues in dating, but one of the most important issues in dating. And that is that you cannot, nor should you ever try to negotiate attraction. If a woman does not have genuine desire for you, if she does not want to be with you, you should never pursue her. Now, the reason why I want to talk about this issue is because, you know, earlier today I was reading a story about Ron Jeremy. Some of you already know what's going on with Ron Jeremy. Some of you probably don't even know who Ron Jeremy is. For those of you that don't know who Ron Jeremy is, he was an uh, uber super famous porn star from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. I, I don't know how long he was in the porno industry. He's, I'll pull up a picture of him. He was a really creepy looking dude. But for whatever reason, he was a porn star. And now he has, I believe, 22. By the time this video is uploaded, it might be even more. But I know he had at least 22 charges being brought up on him going all the way back to 1996 let's put it like this it's looking like his best option is to take the deal take the plea bargain and he's probably going to get a lot of years in prison and these were women from the porn industry who claim to have slept with Ron Jeremy against their will now, there are certain buzzwords we're not allowed to use here on YouTube, so you know I'm not going to use those words. And please, in the comment section, don't use those words. <clears throat> I'm trying to make a somewhat educational video here. But anyways, back to the point. Now, the stories involved in this case are, are pretty unique because... Ron Jeremy was a director and a star. So he was the one that got you the job. And a lot of times he was also acting in the films. So he was the guy that was actually sleeping with these hot chicks, these bona fide dime pieces. But he was also the director. So these women, when they want a job, just like if a woman wants a job at a department store, she has to reach out to the, you know, the store manager or you know somebody that's in charge and let them know she wants to work there. Then she'll get interviewed. If she passes the interview, she may get the job. You know, In the porno industry, it's fair, probably fairly similar. right? If he's the director of a, porn, a porno company, these women are looking for jobs. So they come to him and, you know, they, they shoot their shot. So what's he going to do? And this is, this is where he was very stupid and careless. I'm not quite sure if what he did was illegal. I mean, I guess the court of law will determine that, but very stupid. He tried to use his position to proposition women. For example, and it's it's very bizarre. When you're talking about the industry that he was in, it's very bizarre because 
A woman wants to star in an adult film, which means she is going to be doing freaky stuff on camera. He's the director. He runs the show. She comes to him. She wants a job. What's he going to do? He's going to say, okay, let's see what you got. You know, I'll take my pants off. You take your pants off. Let's see what you got. And, you know, that's basically what he was doing. And he was a creepy dude. I mean, let's pull him up again. This is a creepy looking dude. But these women want a job. And he had a very high status in the industry that he was in. So, and let's face it, most of the women in porn are, are pretty, they're willing to stoop to some pretty weird stuff. You know, they'll do some strange for change, so to say. But now they're coming out and, you know, they're pressing these charges against him. And here's the thing. Whether you agree that he should be thrown in jail or not, I can almost guarantee you if you hook these women up to a lie detector test and you ask them, did you want to sleep with Ron Jeremy? They would all say, hell no, and they would all pass the lie detector test. None of them had a genuine desire. None of them had attraction to Ron Jeremy. What they're going to say now, and they might be 100% honest when they say it, they might say, I felt pressured. I felt like I had to do it. I wanted the job, and this was the only way I was going to get it. Now, the current climate of the way laws work, <laughs> if you were in politics, if you were in Hollywood, if you were the manager of a department store, and you're propositioning women to sleep with you in order for them to get a job, you are going to get yourself in trouble, even if they willingly do it. And it's not because the law is flawed. It's not because these women are evil. It's because you were a dumbass, right? I mean, you got you to blame yourself in a situation like that because you put yourself in a position to completely get obliterated by the law, by these women, by everybody. Just because you were a creep. Now, <clears throat> how does this translate to regular guys out there going out on dates with regular girls out there? Well, how many of you guys are chasing women who have little to no genuine desire for you? They're not showing attraction towards you. They're not showing signs that they want to be with you sexually. But you are still pursuing them. And you think if you buy her dinner, you think if you, um, you know, hold the door open for her, you think if you're always there when she needs you, you think she's going to give it to you. And then what happens? A lot of times you guys... Guys out there will kind of throw fits. They'll get upset. They'll try to put pressure on her. They'll try to get her to sleep with them. And sometimes women, now not always, but sometimes women will sleep with men that they did not want to sleep with. And if you put yourself in that position, you are an idiot. It's not worth it. And that's what happens when you try to negotiate attraction, when you use nice guy shit, when you use money, when you use uh, power or you know whatever position you're in to try to influence a woman to be attracted to you, to try to negotiate attraction with her. Either one, you waste your fucking time, which is stupid, or two, you put yourself in a position where you could be in a lot of trouble. And, you know, <clears throat> I know a lot of guys out there probably don't relate to that. You don't think something like that could happen to you. And I don't really see a whole lot of dating coaches or, you know, anybody in the manosphere really talking about these issues. But it's something you got to think about, man. It's something you got to think about because the way that things are going right now, you know, in certain states, they're trying to pass laws where sending inappropriate pictures to a woman 
can get you thrown in jail. You know, how many of you guys have women who don't really have any interest in you on your Snapchat or you have their phone numbers or, you know, whatever. And how many guys out there are sending inappropriate messages, pictures, texts, whatever. We're getting to a point where you're going to get yourself in trouble just for doing that. And as stupid as it may sound, like because most of you guys are good guys. A lot of good guys go down for bullshit reasons. It's the truth. But they go down when and, and only when they put themselves in a position to go down, when they do something stupid like Ron Jeremy did. You got to be smarter than that, you know. Don't do something that is in the gray area of, <laughs> you know, something that could get you in trouble. Just don't do it. And anytime you're fooling around with a woman who does not have a genuine desire for you, that is not genuinely attracted to you, and you are like an idiot pursuing her and trying to force her to be attracted to you, you are setting yourself up for disaster. That's about all I have for tonight, guys. And I know this video might have came across a little bit negative, but, you know, it's important, man. It's important. We got to talk about that and this sort of thing. You know, I don't want to see good guys go down for their own ignorance. So you got to be smart enough. You got to be ahead of things. You got to know what's going on. I hope this video was somewhat informative and insightful. And always remember that women don't cheat on, leave, or take advantage of men they're afraid of losing. And never forget to put her in her place and make her call you daddy. Until next time, see ya.